It is no secret that many millennials and Gen Z are choosing not to have children for very specific reasons and are in fact choosing to be child free. As a fellow Gen Z individual looking forward into the future, I think that there are some fundamental issues and problems that could face both society and individuals personally if this decision continues and perpetrates and spreads amongst continued generations. Gen Z, listen, at the end of the day, you are the next generation. We are the next generation. We are going to get to decide how the society is run. We are going to be the ones deciding what is being valued and what is not. We are going to be the ones who are going to continue to help either manage this earth or be a detriment to it. We are the ones who are going to be influencing other people's lives, potentially. So many Gen Zers, because of reasons given such as money, not enough of it, or climate change, such as like the general degradation of this world, are choosing not to have children. Here's how this plays out. An entire generation or a good portion of a generation that chooses not to have children is A, not contributing to the workforce. If you are not having children, there will be no new people to contribute to a workforce, which means, okay, you want the human race to end? That's all right. It will but your final years on this earth will be absolute misery because you will have no new generation to cover social security. You will have no new generation to cover and benefit and be doing the jobs that you need to keep society running. There will be no new miners or trash collectors or virtual assistance. Furthermore, there will be no one to help manage and sustain the earth. Now, yes, a lot of people can sit there and be like, well, humans are the greatest detriments to this earth. And while many humans do pollute the earth in various ways, humans are also some of the greatest contributors to the earth and to our um system from a societal standpoint an entire generation or even a good portion of a generation that chooses to be child free is going to then suffer for that decision later and not just the people who choose to be child free but the people who have children and who are continuing to raise that next generation will also suffer some of the effects of their fellow generation choosing not to have children because retirement, the the suffering with which the last years that you would potentially be here in this potential theoretical state would be absolutely horrific for everyone, not just older generations, not just the smaller, much less populated younger generations, but also for the current generation that is choosing whether to have children or not. At a more individual level, choosing not to have children is going to affect you in one way or another. Right now, it may seem fun and enjoyable to live a party life for, you know, the next 50 years. However, like I said, for an entire generation of people to just stop contributing more human beings to the planet, there will be repercussions. And so because of that, at an individual level, I think there will be a lot of people who feel very unfulfilled. We as human beings were made to contribute. We were made to be a part of something, to be a part of society. At the end of the day, it's absolutely your choice to choose whether you have children or not. 
inherently bringing up another human being requires selflessness. It requires generosity. It requires gratitude. It requires patience and goodness. Honestly, it requires a lot of valuable character traits and forces you to have those character traits. You can change. Every single one of us is capable of being a responsible adult. I know it's crazy, but generations before us have done it. Nowadays, you can wait. You can wait to become an adult and you can put it off and try to extend your childhood as much as possible and be like a Peter Pan until you're 25 or 30 years old. But at some point, I hope that you will see that there is a benefit to being responsible for the people out there who feel that they aren't emotionally mature enough to have children and so are choosing to be child free because of that. My question to you is... If you feel right now today like you're not emotionally mature enough to have children, why are you assuming for the rest of your life that you are never going to be emotionally mature enough to have a child? You are literally setting yourself up for failure for the rest of your life by deciding right now that this is the level of emotional maturity that you are going to stay at forever. I know that this is definitely a tough, tough pill to swallow and honestly, I don't expect a whole lot of sympathy. I think there will definitely be a lot of dislikes from what I'm saying right now because at the end of the day, it is tough. Right now, it is tough. It's tough to be an adult. You have to make responsible decisions. And most people are choosing, like I said, to forego those responsible decisions. And you can choose to do that. Your decisions impact everyone. And you can absolutely make whatever decision you would like to make. And it will impact you for your future. This is why I think we have to start prioritizing family Gen Z. There are implications, there are repercussions to us not making the decision to choose family. Now, do I think there's plenty of Gen Zers out there who are? Absolutely. I know so many of them personally. But for the rest of you, for the rest of you out there, the majority of you who want to live this child-free life, I encourage you to think about your actions and think about how that's going to impact not just you. Think about what's truly the selfish option. Is it, is it truly selfish to have another human being and to continue populating the earth? Is that really the selfish option? I hope that if nothing else, this episode challenged you to think a little bit deeper about bringing a child into this world and what you can do to help society and benefit others. You can feel free to disagree in the comments if you would like, or you can feel free to agree. But at the end of the day, we can have a million discussions about it. It won't change the facts and it won't change reality. And so I really, really encourage you, especially if you know someone who might need to hear this message, send this to a friend. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you made it all the way through, congratulations. I absolutely applaud you. I talk about living an intentional life rooted in God's word. And so if that's something that interests you, I talk about topics like this. Um, Generally, I come from a more positive tone of things that we can do to live off one income, things that we can do to have children and have family and um, motherhood, continue building a strong, safe society. If that interests you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much.